And we're back here on Sportsline. We've been talking a lot about the Titans offense tonight, specifically up front with the offensive line. Made such big strides last year, so much more expected of them this year. On the opposite side of things, which we also briefly hit on off the top of the show, is the wide receiver position. Last year, I mean, it was Rashard Matthews, and then there just wasn't a whole lot else out there. Tajay Sharp had some moments. Kendall Wright had a couple of moments. But when it was third and eight, where do you go? Matthews made some plays. Obviously, Delaney Walker's made a bunch of plays during his time in Tennessee, kind of developing into Marcus Mariota's favorite target. But everybody knows that by now and defense is keyed on that last year when you look out there this year it just seems like there's so many more options and a big reason for that is we highlighted off the top of the show Eric Decker a guy who's got 385 career catches and the Titans were able to just pick him up in the middle of the summer just a fantastic addition to this team I think it's clear right now that you're going to see a lot of Decker, you're going to see a lot of Matthews, and you're going to see a lot of Corey Davis. Those guys are going to be your three main wide receivers. Taewon Taylor is going to get out there a lot. I imagine Tajay Sharp will see the mix here and there. And then after that, I don't know. Do they keep Harry Douglas around as a sixth guy and a veteran? Is there someone else that rises into that mix? We'll find out. But I think that's your key target group right there. And when you think about that, Tajay Sharp, who last year people were raving out about, I think he's your fifth wide receiver. And frankly, that tells you how much this position has improved. And again, a big reason for that is Eric Decker. We caught up with one of the newest Titans the other day after practice. Big thing about my game is, you know, being precise, being in the right spot, um, and letting the quarterback, you know, Make the decision, make it easy on him. Be where he's supposed to be. So we got a lot. We got a lot of talent in that room. So I think it's just honing on details because those details is what wins and loses ball games a lot of times. And uh, if you want to be an explosive offense, we want to help this defense out and score some points. You know, we all got to do our job and make sure that you know we're working on those things now and just consistently every day. Because when Sunday's coming, you don't want to be thinking a lot. You want to just be out there reacting to what the defense is doing and, and making the play. What surprised you in these first three days? Uh, no real surprises, you know, I'm just trying to get comfortable with kind of the, the type of practice, the schedule, um, you know, where I'm supposed to be, you know, during individuals, during, during team stuff, um, but it's been good. I, I love the energy here, the culture's great, uh, you know, felt accepted, you know, first day I walked in, so it says a lot about really the, the attitude and, and, and the culture of this locker room, so. Very excited to be here and and uh, looking forward to a good training camp. Yeah, you kind of keep that edge, kind of uh, never stray away from kind of what like your core was, how you, how you got to where where you were. And, uh, <laughs> and the success that we have is is by kind of you know the grinding it out, you know putting our nose in there during running the like running game. We're not afraid to do that. Uh, just doing what's asked of us. I think everyone in that room has done a good job of accepting their role. Of you know, uh, there's definitely no egos, and and um, I think that, that's going to give us a lot of success if everyone can feed off that kind of attitude. A lot of times, there are tight wide receivers. You know, okay, got to be a diva here. Oh, for this team doesn't seem to have any. Well, we all have a little bit inside of us. There's no question, but. Uh, it's, it's it's not as intense maybe as as some no but I, I think a lot of guys you know the biggest thing is we all respect and and uh, love working together so that, that's the biggest thing and no one is trying to outdo no one you know we're pushing each other competition is the name of the game we all know that we're all trying to earn a spot in this team and and, uh, and I love that you could tell that there's a lot of competitors but at the same time we're there for each other coaching each other up uh, and uh, that's going to help you know, make us a better unit. I think Eric Decker absolutely does that. And the very first thing he said, the, the precision within his routes, the fact that quarterbacks can trust him, that to me is what separates him. 
Is he the fastest guy on the field or the biggest guy on the field? No, but he is absolutely where he's supposed to be on every single route. He brings significant experience to the room. And don't forget, this is a guy who shared the huddle and the meeting rooms with Peyton Manning for a long time in Denver. Think about the wealth of knowledge and the things that he learned there that can help out a young quarterback like Marcus Mariota, that can help out young receivers in the Titans receivers room. That's huge. And speaking of young guys, John U. Smith, tight end drafted in the third round this year. He's the heir apparent to Delaney Walker. Obviously, Walker's still around and a pro bowler. So what does Smith do now? Well, when the pads came on this week, maybe a little nerves early on for Smith, but he showed everybody that he's not afraid of the contact and getting down to the nitty gritty part of playing tight end. Uh, no, we had a, uh, you know, overall good day. Uh, you know, coach said defense got, you know, had a better day. Uh, so we got to get him back tomorrow. Um, but, uh, you know, as rookies, we just got to, you know, continue to slow things down and uh, process everything, you know, as if it, as if we weren't in pads. Um, but he's going to continue to get better. And that's uh, the good thing about tomorrow is just another opportunity to get better. Some of the rookies, there was some anxiety out there. Was that a part of that too? I probably, yeah, I probably had a little bit of you know jitter I'm um, just excited energy. Um, you know, every football player you know has that. Um, you know, especially you know first year guy, and uh, you know, I feel like I'm gonna have those forever. You know, it's just you know just the excitement, you know, the, the passion and love that I have for the game. Coach said that Johnny understands what we want from him. What is that? Um, I have an important role. You know, I got to, you know, know a lot of positions. And, uh, you know, I got to continue to execute it. They throw it at me because they know I can, you know, understand it. They know I can uh, handle it. So they want to continue to, you know, throw things at me that, you know, put the team in the best situation to win. Throw things at you, blocking, Oh, yeah, blocking, passing, all three phases, you know, all phases, you know, that that requires me, you know, to, you know, do my job, you know, whether it's, you know, blocking, passing, even on special teams, you know, I got an important role in special teams, and I'm just going to do whatever coach asked me to do. You said it was in one practice, it was clear you aren't afraid, so stick your nose in there. You know, in a position where the glory comes in receiving, how important is blocking? Oh, it's just as important as receiving. Um, it helps us. You know, it helps us win. Um, you know, that, to me, that's more important than receiving. You know, that's what's going to help spring those touchdowns. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, we all understand that. And, uh, you know, as a group, we're just going to continue to, um, you know, build off that and, you know, learn from one another and, uh, you know, do our job. John o. Smith very accepting of his role coming into Titans training camp as a rookie, as a high draft pick, but not a star at this point. I think that's a common theme you see throughout the Titans draft picks under John Robinson and Mike Malarkey. Yes, they want good players. They want guys who can come in and play right away. But take, for instance, a guy like Derrick Henry last year. You're talking about a national champion and a Heisman Trophy winner at Alabama who's willing to come in to an NFL camp and be the backup to sit behind DeMarco Murray and only go out there when your number's called and not make a fuss about it. Just continue to work and try to get better. And you know what? Derrick Henry is a much better football player today than he was a year ago at this time. And he'll tell you that. He'll tell you how much he learned last year going through that process. And then he's better prepared now to help the team win. And I said it earlier, I think because of everything that he's gone through, he's going to help the team win. He's going to have a bigger role this year. But it's having guys like that that are willing to do the little things, that are willing to put in the work, that have helped the Titans turn the corner under John Robinson and Mike Malarkey and go from a team that won five games in the span of two years to a team now that people are talking about as a favorite to win their division. And that is huge. And Johnny Smith is just another guy that exemplifies that mindset. He's a true Titans player and what they want in their guys. All right, we've got to take a break. We're running a little bit behind here. When we come back, we'll get to the defensive side of the ball. Some of the guys you should be watching out for over there. More sports line on the way right after this break on News Channel 5 Plus.